What's going on folks and welcome to Deadside. I hope you're all doing well. Now today we're going to be checking out the cave. Now while I was live streaming the other day we got told about a cave that is on the map which is right there just so you guys know I'll leave a little red ring around it. Um, so we decided we were going to go check it out. Now with all the issues Deadside currently has at the moment hopefully with the first patch with the uh, anti-cheat and all that stuff there are some things in the game that should be really be seen and there's a lot of potential with the game as well in terms of detail and immersive experience. Now, just as I go into this cave, just listen. Now as you can hear, as I've got into the cave, you can start hearing the cave sounds and everything else, which is... Not something that you'd necessarily get in all the other games out there, but for something that's like a PvP game, that's a pretty good amount of detail right there. And with the way the lighting works, you can see that the light simply does not bleed into the tunnel, which is brilliant because I've had issues with other games doing that as well. And for me, it's all about the immersive experience. But how cool is this? And I would love to see loads more of these on the map and especially when the map opens up you can see right down the bottom all that red area is uh, where the map's going to be opened up eventually and obviously the top bit is where we can currently play but this little cave is so cool like I really do like this and, and, and I really wish there were more locations like this well hopefully when the map opens there will be but I think it really does show the potential especially because it is running on the Unreal Engine 2 um, or Unreal Engine 4 um, but you can see the way the lighting works, especially on his face, the shadowing, even the shadowing around the area that's lit up as well. Little details like this shouldn't really go unnoticed because they're just, for me, they're too good. And I love this sort of stuff within games. Like, immersion for me is everything. Gotta have that immersive experience. But you can see that there are little places that you can go into, like this. But it's a pretty cool little cave, but I think you guys should go check it out. But apparently you can build in here. So I would like to try that at some point as well. <laughs> but I am thoroughly enjoying the game so far, other than obviously the hacking issue. But when the anti-cheat comes out, that should stop most of it. Um, I hope. I really do hope. And obviously with the admin tools and stuff coming out as well. Um, so the admins can actually protect the players on the server. But yeah, once they once they actually make the map bigger, they need to get more of this stuff. Can't wait. I mean, look at the flame. Even the flame is really cool. It looks like it reminds me of something out of the forest because obviously the forest has got so many caves and they've got the cave monsters as well. Even though they don't want to put monsters in here, I think just having players and AI is going to be scary enough to be fair. So uh, as we come out to the other end of the tunnel, you can see here. Or the cave rather you can see we're now back outside it's nice and sunny and you really do feel immersed like you've just walked through a cave because of the audio the lighting and everything else which is really nice so yeah guys that's literally pretty much it i know it's a short video but i thought that'd be pretty cool it's a bit of dead side content as well and uh, if you want to see more cool stuff or catch up on the streams don't forget because i am streaming full time at the moment uh, don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button, smash the thumbs up, and you'll catch me right here on this channel. So with that being said, stay safe, peace out, and I'll catch you next one. Take care.